Welcome back, uh, I guess stage two of uh, the floor panel on a 74 Oldsmobile Hearst. We got uh, a lot of floor cut out. The front section ain't quite finished. I'm going to kind of work with the back one first. Brought this down to bare metal pretty much. Uh, got cut as deep as I could. Got all the rust out. Used some rust prep. Metal prep stuff, I guess. Anyway, uh, long story short. This is our second part of it. Got kind of an outline whatnot and just showing you what we got going here. The bottom, I don't know, the top even looks decent, but once you get under the bottom, you're gonna notice all the uh the rust, all this shit's gotta come out. Our new floor pan's gonna go back in place. But yeah, some of this is even actually gonna have to be cut out along here. Up above, get this rust fully out. I've got some metal I'm going to go ahead and put back in, some 16th inch. I'm going to weld that in, but first I'm going to use the old existing molding to line everything up with the new one. See how the edges are round and whatnot. By putting this in place, I can put it in place, tack a couple spots that are better metal and decent, and it'll lay on. Kind of give us an uh, outline to the puzzle of putting it back together the way it came out. So once everything's back welded in this pan, we're going to go ahead and actually cut this section out. But I want a basically, you know, map of exactly how it came out. And I can't do that unless I use what's existing, bad or not. It's it's a guideline for me. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pop this piece on. Actually, that's going to happen. This rust stuff is in the way. But yeah, once we put that on, weld it i'll go ahead and recut this back section weld new metal in there and then it can match up to the correct guideline of where it would actually go and these ones are four piece so actually just one section at a time but our next step is getting the rest of this crap off here i've got this separated from the rail over here so we can actually slide our pan in there under it correctly the way it should go and then uh, we'll start welding. I'll make another video, update what we got going, and uh, show you how it turns out.